Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of I Love the Java Jive and It Loves Me. Or maybe that's coffee, tea, and me. I forget what I call stuff. Anyways, today we're doing something a little bit interesting and it's not really a true coffee and it's not really a true tea. It calls itself coffee. Today we are doing Om is the brand, or, or should I say Om um, is the brand. And it's Om Mushroom Superfood, Superfood Mushroom Blend Coffee. They're calling it coffee, but there's no coffee in here. So this contains lion's mane, cordyceps, and those of you who are familiar with The Last of Us know what cordyceps is. Turkey tail, reishi extract, and ginkgo biloba, dietary supplement powder. In one hand they call it coffee, the other they call it dietary supplement powder. Yeah, the ingredients are all everything that it just said. It does have caffeine in it. It says 2,000 milligrams per serving, but it doesn't say 2,000 milligrams of what? Food and Drug Administration, not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. That's okay, because I'm not trying to prevent any of those. Uh, the ingredients say organic coffee powder. Coffee powder? So there's coffee in here. Coffee and mushrooms, I guess. Organic coffee powder, organic micellated oats. Oh, other ingredients, okay. All right, so they add it to the mushrooms, I suppose. Total caffeine per packet, 120 milligrams. Made without eggs, dairy, fish, crustaceans, shellfish, tree nuts, wheat, soy, or gluten. Manufactured in a facility that also processes egg, milk, soy, and tree nuts. All right, so, you know, it's supposed to be healthy, but if you're allergic to any of those things, it's not so much. All right, so the instructions say, to add approximately one level tablespoon, not teaspoon, tablespoon, to 10 ounces of hot water, stir and uh, stir well and enjoy. So I'm gonna get my water heated up here. I'm gonna put the mushroom coffee in there. There's some, I don't know if I wanna smell this, it's probably gonna go up my nose. It is a powder. I would think, being that it's made with mushroom, that it would have, you know, this mushroomy kind of smell, but it doesn't. It doesn't smell like coffee either. All right, one level teaspoon. Wouldn't you know it? I don't have a level. That's probably gonna be close enough. And you're probably wondering why I'm putting it in a mug. Well, because it's glass, you can see it. It's gonna put it in a coffee cup, but then you can't see it. You wanna see it, don't you? I'm gonna wait till this heats up, and again, I need to put 10 ounces of water in there, so I gotta measure that out too. I mean, I could eyeball it, but you know, I, I wanna make it the way it says to make it so I can see what this stuff is supposed to taste like before I mess around and put more coffee or less water or, you know, however I'm gonna do that. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. Okay, the water's done. And now I wanna put in 10 ounces. And I gotta, I gotta measure it out, because, you know, it's gotta be exactly 10 ounces. Here's eight. And here's two more. Now it says that you can drink this cold, so you can you know mix it in with cold water, but uh, I don't know how well that would dissolves in cold water. Yeah. Kind of looks like coffee. It's maybe a little bit like more reddish than coffee. Now, that's really hot. You can see the steam coming off the top of that. I would take a sip of that right now, but I'd burn my mouth and you don't want to see me burn my mouth, do you? What? You do? All right, good shot. All right, so when you put the water, the hot water in and stir it up, that more, you get more of a smell of that. And it's, it doesn't smell, it smells a little bit like instant coffee. And I don't know if you can relate to that. The instant coffee kind of smells like a weaker version of coffee. Um, and it smells like, it smells kind of earthy. Um, other than that, you know, I can't really, can't really say too much about it. This is gonna be really hot. Oh, it's not too bad. Wow. Hmm. If I was sitting 
at breakfast and I asked somebody to bring me a cup of coffee and they brought me this and I tasted it. My first question would be, did you get this at Dunkin' Donuts? Because it tastes weak. It tastes like somebody just ran water through a coffee filter that's already been used five times. And that's kind of what it's like. Now, maybe it's not supposed to like, maybe it's supposed to taste like mushroom soup, but it doesn't taste like that either. It's just very, very weak. Now, I suppose it's good for you. It's a good drink for you. It does have caffeine in it, and I suppose it has other medical benefits to it. But honestly, it doesn't really have, it's kind of bland. It's kind of weak and bland. And um, yeah, I'm not crazy about it. So, you know, why would I drink this instead of a cup of coffee? Unless, you know, unless it's specifically said that it has these very, very specific health benefits to it, which it does not. I don't know. I'm gonna kind of give this a thumbs down. It just, like I said, it says coffee on it. I'm expecting it to be coffee-like. It does actually have coffee powder in it, but not enough to make it, you know, have coffee taste. It's just kind of very lacking that way. And so, yeah, it's gonna get a thumbs down for me. So I would recommend that you try this. I mean, you know, don't always take my word for it. Go out and try things. You know, even if even if, you, if I say it's bad or if I say it's great, try it because you might not have the same. We, we have different palettes, right? So go out and try it. But when you do get out there to try it, just be careful because it's crazy out there. So be careful, take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.